Hi guys, it's Wade McMaster here. Today we're gonna to be checking out uh, the Elegant Themes Divi 3.0 WordPress theme. Now in the past I've checked out Divi 2 and it's been it's extremely exciting features in that theme. Well, on this one they've added this new visual editor which allows you to see exactly what you're doing while you're doing it and makes it very exciting to check out. This, uh, we've got a bit of a fake identity and profile we're gonna to put together just to show you how it all works. There's a few things that we've touched on in the past, especially with the Divi Editor and the uh, options. We're not really gonna go into that because you can check out those in that, that video, which I'll put in the description below. But in this video, this first video, we're gonna check out how to customize your theme and get it looking the way you want it to. And in the next two or three videos, we're gonna go through the page editor and show you the visual editor and just how you can really make a really awesome landing page that's gonna look awesome on your website. So if you want to uh, check out those two videos and go ahead, the links are also in the description below. Otherwise, if you wanna see the customizer, please keep watching. Okay, so we're just here in my WordPress backend. As you can see, I have the Divi theme installed, Divi 3.0, and we're ready to go. Now, if we head up to the main website, You'll notice we've got the basic Divi settings, everything's very neat and clean, just not exactly what we want. We want this Divi logo to be our logo and we want our branding to look like our branding. So what we're going to do, is, first of all, we're just going to change this logo. So we're going to head to dashboard. Down to the Divi theme options. And while there are a lot of different options here that we can choose, we're just going to focus on changing the logo for now. So I'm just going to head to upload. I've actually already got a logo here uploaded and prepared. Green tech, just a little fake logo identity I put together for this video. And um, we're going to save that. Now you can upload that like any other image, but we're just going to head back to the test site just so you can see that we've changed the logo. And now, so we've got our logo changed, but we're still looking mainly like a Divi website. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna customize some of these settings. So we're gonna head into dashboard and theme customizer. As you can see, we've got the usual options and a whole slew of other options now. But for now, we're not gonna go through all of them. We're just gonna focus on a few. Um, the first thing we've got to look at is the color of some of these areas. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually just gonna head on to general settings. Um, you've got your usual settings there, but what we wanna do focus now is a layout. As you can see, we've got a few options like the box layout, which you can actually have a box instead of a full width layout, that sort of thing. You can change your sidebar width and a few bits and pieces to get things looking in the proportion that you want them to. Um, we're going to change the theme accent color because we want it to sort of match our logo. You can see here, this is actually a slide in menu that uh, it's just sort of there as a bit of a demonstration, but it's actually not a part of the website at the moment. Um, we want to try and get that green across the website. So I'm going to copy that color code so everything is identical. And what we want to do, first of all, is we want to change this strip up here because it's just not the way we want it to look. So I'm going to head back out, header and navigation, secondary menu bar and that's just a simple case as you can see the background color is blue so I'm just going to go through and change these to the green color and you can see we've got this nice green thing at the top here a nice green line that sort of matches up with the logo uh, now obviously with your header we can make that that also full width so that way it doesn't say stay constrained to the content it can be the width of the whole page that sort of thing and we can also change the header format. Now there's a few header formats here, centered, centered inline, that sort of thing. Obviously, if you uh, center your logo, the logo goes centered above the text, that sort of thing. There's a few other cool ones here, like the slide in. If I put that on slide in and click on the little hamburger menu here, the nav just slides in on the side there. And I can do the same thing with the full screen, set that up. I'll click on that. We get this nice full screen menu. So there are a few cool options there you can choose from. Um, although in this case, we want to stay with the default. You can also change it to vertical navigation. And you've got a few options there. Like you can really spruce it up, make it look the way you want it to. But for now, we want to stick with just the, the default setting. So now we're going to head to the primary menu bar. Now, I'm actually quite happy with this white background, but you can quite easily change that to whatever background color you want. You can make it a gray, you can make it black. You want to make this text white down here somewhere. But um, just for the sake of this video, we're going to stick with the white just because it's nice and clean. And uh, once again, we are going to change these blues, paste our little code in there, change them to the greens. 
you can see we've got our colors there all nicely set up so now things are starting to look pretty good we've got our we've got everything looking the way we want it to uh, with you know the gray colors that sort of thing um, another thing I also want to do with the menu here is I do want to make that all capitals uh, just because I it just feel that like it looks neater that sort of thing now obviously you can turn a few things on and off we've got our social icons we can turn those on and off that sort of thing like it's really if you sit down, sit down and really explore this there are a lot of options like adding the phone number in here it pops up just in the top corner there like you can really take there's so many different options to really customize this theme um, you will notice as you scroll down there's a fixed navigation you do have a few settings in there obviously once again the blue to be our green color and you can choose to hide the logo when that pops up so that way it comes up it disappears like you really it's really worth having a play and just seeing what you can get but for now we're pretty happy things are clean and tidy the way they are but one thing I'm not happy with now is the font we have this particular font here which is actually a Google font now I want to get the rest of my website looking just like that so I'm gonna head back into general settings and typography now once again Got our color. It's worth just sort of exploring and fixing up the colors where you can. We want our links all to be that green color. But the header font at the moment is just the, this boring default sort of font. So the font I've been using, as you can see, you've got a bit, large selection of fonts here. But the font I've been using is Montserrat. So I'm going to change that. And now we have this same font. But just to make things a little bit more uh, spot on, I want it to be capitals as well. So you have these options here to make it capitals, bold, and you can even change the, the header font size if you want to just by doing this. You can change the body text size if you want to. Uh, it is pretty straightforward. But you can see already things are starting to look a little bit more like the way we want them to. We've got our font, we've got everything's like looking the way it's all matched up, um, got our colors, and we're pretty close to having the website the way we want it to look. So everything's starting to match up. Uh, I'm going to go from there. One thing I did notice is that this I want this navigation to match the font here as well. So I'll just quickly cycle on back. Header and navigation, primary menu bar, font, head on down to Montserrat, bold. And we can change that font, font size if we want to, bigger, smaller. And you can see we get everything set up. So it's really just a matter of going through and just, I mean, there's a, f a lot of different elements. I mean, the main things about web design is you've got your layout, your colors, your typography. Those three things are very easily mixed and matched. Like the, obviously in your layout settings and header formats, you can change the whole way that your website's laid out. Colors, very simple. Just go through, find those areas, add those colors in, and uh, you can basically get it looking the way you want. But the major big ticket items that they're going to really make the most impact on the way your website looks are going to be found just in these areas we explored here. But uh, I really encourage you to, to go through and explore all these options because I can't really I can't cover them all in this video. It's a it's a very it's going to be here for a couple of hours doing that. But uh, this is just a nice short video to show you how easily and quickly you can change the bulk like the main appearance of your website. So I'm just going to save those settings. And I'm just going to exit here. And you can see our website is pretty much tuned up and ready to go. So from here, what we want to do is create a page, uh, like a landing page. It's going to have a lot more impact. Now, this is where things get really exciting and fancy. Um, but there is just one thing I have thought about just then, which I'll show you. We're going to head into uh, Theme Customizer again. Sorry to backtrack, just to head back in there. Now this is a feature a lot of people have been looking looking for, especially if you're a web designer. Now, um, at the moment, you'll see we've got this design by Elegant Themes line down the bottom here. Now, in the past, you used to have to actually go into the to the PHP files through your WordPress editor, edit that file to get it to say what you want it to, and then you would update your, your theme later on, and it would revert back to this design by Elegant Themes setting. So. That's not good news if you're a web designer and uh, and you had your name across a number of websites and then all of a sudden it reverts back to elegant themes. So what they've actually done is in the footer settings here, bottom bar, end footer credits. You can change that now to designed by Wayne McMaster. And you'll see we now have 
a footer, and I can add a link in there with with my uh, link tags if you know a little bit of HTML. And uh, you can basically have that in there now and and have it stay. Every time you update, it's going to stay there. Uh, you can change it to a copyright line if you're just a blogger, that sort of thing. And uh, we can also turn that off, turn it back on. So that's another cool option that we have in this theme. So uh, yeah, but for now, we're pretty happy with the way things are. So I'm just going to save that, exit. And once again, we'll sit back and just look at our work. We've got a nice looking theme here that's responsive and uh, we're ready to start building our page. So I hope you enjoyed that first video, but the best is yet to come. In the next couple of videos, we'll go through the visual editor and show you how to make really stunning pages, landing pages, or even just pages in general for your website. So if you want more, uh, just click on the, I've got the links below towards the next videos, which is videos two and three of this series. You're looking at the visual editor, that sort of thing. If you do want to read more information, you can head to our website. I do have a blog post on this. It is www.willbuildyourblog.com slash divi3. Also, if you want to go ahead and download the theme, you can head to www.willbuildyourblog.com slash download divi. Now, this is an affiliate link. I do make money if you purchase, but I've been using this theme for years and just I cannot recommend it. Even without the affiliate program, I'd have to recommend this theme because it is just really exciting, excellent piece of software. So if you do want to check that out, head to willbuildyourblog.com slash download divi or for more info, willbuildyourblog.com slash divi3. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.